everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well firstly a big thank you for 44,000. i only realized this morning i'd reached 44,000. genuinely it just escaped me because i've just been busy the last few days so i just wanted to say a massive thank you i didn't want anyone thinking that i do not appreciate every single number so huge thank you from the bottom of my heart in this video i am going to be doing some ocean themed videos all epoxy resin over the next week maybe into next week as well today is the very first video and i am going to be doing epoxy resin ammonite necklaces and i am in love with these so I got these incredible ammonite molds from the amazing Resin Ace who started making molds a long time ago and I've had these for many months now but if you are interested in these molds he has an updated version and I'm going to show you those right now. Luckily they came in the post just this morning which is just perfect because I've been able to now slot them into this video to show you guys the updated versions. Now you have these large ammonite molds and I am obsessed cannot wait to try them the ones i'm using in this video you'll see it's a two pack but the updated version is a six pack so if you are interested in this mold at all you now get six which is incredible cannot wait to try these so everything is going to be linked down below let's get on with the video <music> So here is a close up of the ammonite mold that I have bought. Now, like I said, I've had this months. It might even be last year, guys, my brain. <laughs> I'm losing track of time but the updated version is now available on his page and I will link his details below. So the first two powders I'm going to use in these molds are actually the floating pigment powders from Just For You Online. Now I don't actually know at this point if they're going to work. They're designed to float, they're designed to be added to resin or alcohol so that you can use them in alcohol, ink art and all, you know, I'm not sure they're going to work as a dusting mica. But they are so glamorously stunning, I just had to try it. I was planning on doing four necklaces using all four of the Just For You online pigments, but I decided halfway through the project that I would change it out for some new pigments that I've just bought, which are absolutely stunning, but I will talk about them in a second. The first thing I'm gonna do is brush both of the ammonites with the powders. Now I'm going for the silver and I'm going for the aged bronze and they are just absolutely stunning. Now I know they work in resin, I know they work in the jesmonite. If you guys saw the jesmonite pyramids you would have seen me just dust some of this in the molds and it was a wow factor. So I'm hoping that dusting the molds here it will work the same way but even just looking at it now, I'm obsessed with this silver. It's also so fly away. Anyone who's worked with mica powders and pigment powders in general, you know it just gets away with, it just flies everywhere. But yeah, the best thing about these molds is they're super squishy. So you can just open them right out and get into every single nook and cranny. There is something so mesmerizing about ammonites they're just mesmerizing they're the most beautiful things the patterns the symmetry everything about them so yeah even even without the resin it's stunning so that is it every single nook and cranny make sure you cover everything in the second one i did exactly the same again i just dusted the whole entire piece making sure that i got right in there opening it up getting into all the little crevices and that was that was it. It was it's quite a simple procedure. I will be using my resin a opaque black. This is my go-to pigment. I am obsessed with the resin eight opaque pigments. They just are a dream to work with and the black is perfect. So I've mentioned Wendy before, but Wendy at Toompish did an experiment on her channel looking at brushing molds with mica and what pigment is best to fill them up with what really brings out the color of the mica and black one hands down which i think you know most people do fill the molds with black because it truly brings out the color of the mica so the second set now the powders i've just bought they are the chameleon powders from resin i'm gonna say her name wrong resin de terre here she is de terre there you go. I can't say it again, guys, just in case I say it wrong. 
I'm not really sure. They're all chameleon powders. I bought every single color that she does. Um, loads of you guys recommended her actually because some of you watched my video and I ran out of chameleons. I was completely and utterly out of chameleons after I did my Tetris coasters. Loads of you recommended this site. So I contacted her and then I went onto her Facebook page. You have to order through her Facebook page um, because at the moment her, her website's not working. But don't quote me on that. That might have changed since. Um, but yeah, I had to order through her Facebook page. Really, really super fast, efficient. They came pretty much within a couple of days. So I did the same thing again. I coated the absolute inside of the mold this was obviously after i demolded the first two um but then i went in with the second color now the second color was a wow for me it looks kind of orangey pinky in the bag and then oh as soon as i dusted it on it was absolutely stunning this powder absolutely i fell in love with this color i couldn't even work out what it was my brain was telling me one minute it's orange the next minute it's pink but of course i know it's chameleon so i've got no idea even really how the resin is going to change it and what it's going to turn out like now the one on the left you'll see i have added color i figured i've already done a gold one and this mica powder kind of came out gold so i wanted to add some additional color into it so i just grabbed a bag any bag again i don't know the names of these chameleon powders but it looks very greeny and i figured that would work perfectly so i just do the exact same thing again filling the back of my mold with the resin that has the black pigment in it hopefully we'll get the biggest possible impact from that mica powder when we demold that is all. These are actually a really simple project and perfect gift ideas, guys. If you know anyone who loves a fossil, <laughs> loves an ammonite, they are so mesmerizing to look at. Now, Demold. This is the Just For You Online Floating Pigment. It was a wow from me, but, big but, I was expecting, I don't know what, I don't actually know what I was expecting. I was expecting the same kind of glamour that I got from using it in the Jesmonite or even using it in the resin. But it has, it has pretty much acted like a gold and a silver mica powder. Um, again, I'm not making sense. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> they are, of course, matte moulds, so they're going to be matte this one was also a wow the green that i added just oh it just took it to another level so it kind of is gold in the middle it works its way out to dark green again they're color shifting their chameleon powders so this blew me away like when i put it in the mold my brain was telling me it was orange and a little bit of pink but it came out this stunning purple and i have to say the two on the left are totally my favorite so actually to make them into jewelry i am using this really handy little drill now this was a recommendation from a fellow resin tiktoker and it is a lifesaver i was using my huge black and decker drill with a tiny teeny drill bit but this one is a small handheld usb operated drill absolutely perfect for resin jewelry so all you have to do then is just screw in your eyelets. I am going to link everything down below. Like I said before, there is a jewellery section on my Amazon store. So if you're interested in this at all and there's any little thing you need, you should find it in my Amazon store. But they're so easy to drill into the resin once I've used that drill. I don't use any glue to stick them in. I don't use any resin to stick them in. I just screw them in the very next day and I screw them in until they are super tight and they cannot be screwed in anymore then i'm using jump rings to secure around those eyelets and that is what the chains are going to be put through now the only thing i'm not linking down below is the chains because these chains were actually given to me and really chains are i mean i can link some chains but i know everyone has preferences you might all want completely different lengths completely different styles different colors all of that jazz so i haven't linked any chains down below but look at these i am head over heels in love head over heels in love close-ups I just love them. Let me know what you think at this point. Which one is your favourite colour? The two on the left. I feel like they've changed already. I feel like the second one along is even more purple now than it was when I demoulded. But let me know your thoughts and 
thank you so so much if you have stayed this long i hope you've enjoyed the video you found it helpful and oh i hope you love them as much as me so i will see you in my next ocean inspired video until then bye